Well, how much rubber can you get under a C3 Corvette? Well, I was running 275 5015s. And I went to this 18 inch wheel, 285. I did chop the leaf here about an inch, inch and a half. The other clearance issue you're going to have is on the front where the park brake cable, these are offset trailing arms, but this is originally in, in the way on original. And then the other problem you may run into is, if I can get a picture of it, where the front of the tire, I'm going to compress the suspension, I'll show you, but where it may come up and hit up here. This is only a 24.7 diameter tire, so... Let me uh, compress the suspension, and I'm gonna undo the rear leaves. I do have the front supported. You gotta be careful. Don't be like that video of a guy dropping a Corvette off of a lift. That was scary. All right, so there's my ride height. And that's what the fender wheel looks like. So these are a five inch back spacing, nine inch, wide wheel zero offset 18 inch um so yeah if you do this make sure you undo that don't tip your car off the thingy so the only clearance issue that'll be close is up here where the sway bar is um i stuck a half inch bolt in there just for reference and if you want to look here the offset trailing arm is plenty of room but if you go much taller tire there's about what you got right there. Let me get a tape. All right, so that's about what you got with a 24.7 diameter tire. If you went taller, you may run into the frame here. And that would be a lot of work to fix that. But other than that, that is the clearance. With a 285. Now moving to the front. We are at the uh, stop right there, and the back does touch here, the frame, and the front on the other side coming around does touch the sway bar, but this is with unloaded suspension, so let me put it on the ground, and you can see what it looks like. All right, with that sitting on the ground, and me holding tension, cranking it all the way over. It does not appear to be hitting anything. So let's take a look underneath. Okay, this is the back inside. Just barely clears. All right, and there's the sway bar clearance. So it gained some clearance after we put it on the ground. All right, there's the front. And I don't know if you can tell the increased the increased angle here. I put it dialed in some more positive caster. I'll show you that little trick later on. And there's the back. All tucked under. It's a 285. There you go.